How to SEO your Wix.com website, part two. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from Daytips.com and in this video, I'm going to be speaking about how to SEO or do search engine optimization specifically for your Wix.com website. So if you currently have a Wix.com website or if you're thinking about having a Wix.com website and you wanna generate more traffic and more visitors to your website using search engines, then this video is for you. The part one to this video I did um, a few days ago and you can watch that by clicking here. And I definitely recommend going and actually watching that video because some of these things you might not understand yet. So go definitely go back. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description as well. So um, you can go and check that video out and, um, and then come back to this video just to get up to speed. But I wanted to cover a few things that I didn't get to cover in that video. So let's go for it. I'm just gonna kind of talk to you about some of the things you wanna keep in mind with your Wix.com website. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna be talking about is keywords, what kind of keywords you should be going after, or what keywords you should be targeting for SEO, because obviously, um, when you're doing search engine optimization, you wanna know what keywords you actually wanna rank for in Google, and one of the ways, as I mentioned in the previous video, is to use tools such as the Google Keyword Tool to find keywords. But one thing you don't wanna do is pick what's known as short tail keywords. Um, short tail keywords are generally very difficult to rank for. So um, a short tail keyword is a keyword that's very vague, maybe one to two words long, for example, um, dog sitter. So if your business was dog sitting, you wouldn't really wanna try and rank your website for dog sitting if you're a new website. Eventually, yeah, you might wanna rank for dog sitting, but as a new website, that's a highly competitive term you're gonna to wanna to rank for what's known as long tail keywords. So dog, um, dog sitting services in London or dog sitting services in wherever it is that you're based. And those kind of more localized, longer tail keywords, longer phrase keywords are less competitive and you're a lot more likely to rank um, in search for those kind of keywords. The second thing I wanted to talk about is um, the use of social media and um, guest blogging and bank backlinking for your website. So you need it's advisable to use um, to use social social media to kind of promote your blog posts and to pl promote your website. This isn't only good because obviously social media is a good way to gain um, visitors and gain um, awareness of your brand. But also every time someone shares one of your posts um, on Twitter, say, or every time someone likes a post, then that's engagement and Google sees that engagement. It's known as social sharing. And Google sees that social sharing as a good way for websites like Google and Yahoo to know that your website is relevant, to know that people are engaging with your, um, with your articles. And the more an article has been shared around, the more likely it is to rank higher in Google. And also if you do guest blog posts, which is basically writing blog posts for other relevant um, websites in your niche, um, then especially if they're high authority websites, if they're websites that have been around for many, many years and have you know maybe hundreds or even thousands of related articles as well, then that creates a, a, a really a really good domain authority, which means they're already recognized in Google. So you're gonna wanna guest blog post for um, related websites in your niche and that's going to create what's known as a backlink to you back to your website as long as you leave your um, your website and let's say like the um, in the bio section um, after you finish the article you might leave your website in the bio section Google will see the fact that you know you've written that that post and they will credit your website and it's kind of known as a backlink. So that's a great way to improve your search engine optimization if you've got loads of those backlinks from different articles as well. Um, just as a word of caution, never pay for backlinks. Always build backlinks naturally by guest um, blogging, by people sharing your content and by people recommending your website. So never pay for backlinks, always build it gradually, build it generically, build it without money, build it with hard work. Because if you build it with money, if it goes up easily, it will come down easily as well and Google will penalize you for that eventually as well. So those are the main two things I wanted to speak about is backlinking, um, using social media to help your search engine optimization, you know, with social sharing and um, also 
to using the long tail keywords. You know, don't go after short tail keywords, one or two word phrases, go after the longer tail keywords. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, then please click the like button down below. If you have any comments or questions, then please leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos, subscribe to my channel for even more awesome content that's gonna really help you take your business um, to the next level. But until next time, have a great day and I'll see you soon.